So today, we are making a recipe that you can serve as a tapas appetizer like they do in Spain or even as a side dish and it's perfect for the holiday season or any time of the year. We're talking Spanish vinegar and garlic cauliflower. This is known in Spain as coliflor al ajo cabanil and let me tell you, it's got a ton of flavors to it. It's very easy to make and the texture of the cauliflower is truly out of this world. Folks, we're talking just a handful of ingredients and all done in just 30 minutes. Let's begin by getting our cauliflower ready. And let me tell you, when we go to the market shopping for a head of cauliflower, you wanna make sure that the florets are nice and tight and that there's no brown or yellow spots as that's a sign of older cauliflower. I'm gonna start by removing the outer leaves. Then we'll cut off some of the stem Cut the head of cauliflower into four evenly sized pieces and start removing the florets. You can do this with your hand or even with a knife. Then we'll separate the larger florets from the smaller ones and cut them into smaller florets. That way all the florets are similar in size. and cut off any of the extra stem from each florette. Then we'll add the florets of cauliflower into a strainer, rinse them under some cold running water, and then completely dry them. I'm gonna be using a salad spinner, but you can also use a dishcloth. For the next step, Let's start making the vinegar and garlic sauce. I'm gonna add in six cloves of garlic that I roughly chopped into a mortar, along with two tablespoons of chopped parsley, which is eight grams. You can substitute this for one third the amount of dried parsley, and a pinch of sea salt. And using a pestle, pound down on the mixture until you end up with a paste-like texture. If you don't have a mortar and pestle, you can also use a food processor here, or even a handheld blender. Once we end up with a mashed texture, I'm gonna add in two tablespoons of sherry vinegar, which is 30 milliliters. You can also use white wine vinegar here, or even red wine vinegar. And we'll give it one final mix, and then set it aside. All right, let's start cooking our dish. I'm gonna grab a large fry pan, and heat it with a medium high heat. Once the pan is nice and hot, it's been about five minutes, I'm gonna add in three tablespoons of garlic infused olive oil, which is 45 milliliters. And let me tell you, by using a garlic infused olive oil, it gives this cauliflower a beautiful lift of garlic goodness. You'll find a link where you can get the one I'm using from Biazzo in the description box below. And we'll immediately add in the florets of cauliflower. And we'll mix them around, that way they're all coated in that olive oil, and then place them in a single layer, just as best as you can. After about one minute, we'll start mixing the florets around and once again place them in a single layer and go for another minute. And we're gonna continue to cook the cauliflower in this technique between nine to 10 minutes or until the florets have a beautiful golden color to them. After about nine to 10 minutes and the florets of cauliflower have a beautiful golden color and they're fully cooked through, you know, you can always pierce them with a toothpick and if it easily goes in there, but with some resistance, they are ready to go. For the next step, I'm gonna lower the fire to a low medium heat, add in the vinegar and garlic sauce, and season generously with sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper. And we'll continue to mix this and go for another two to three minutes or until that vinegar and garlic sauce is absorbed by the cauliflower. Then we'll remove the pan from the heat and transfer everything into a serving dish.
and garnish it with some fresh parsley. Check it out, our Spanish vinegar and garlic cauliflower stun. Once again, known in Spain as coliflor and ajo cabanil, a beautiful dish from the region of Murcia. Easy to make, beautiful presentation, and done in under 30 minutes. Let's give it a try and see how it turned out. Once again, folks, coliflor al ajo cabanil. What a beautiful looking dish. Here we go. That texture. Take a bite. Seriously though, these are the kind of dishes that I consider a double whammy. Incredible textures and flavors. And let me tell you, if you're a fan of uh, cauliflower, like myself, you're gonna absolutely love this dish. And if cauliflower is not your thing, give this a try home and I promise you are gonna become a believer because it is that good. Folks, easy to make, done in under 30 minutes. Once again, perfect for the holidays or any time of the year. Really quick before I go, uh, shout out to a couple of my patrons, Melissa Thurman, Leslie Tyson, Alan Sanchez, Jay Edwards, and Kevin Moran. And guys, thank you so much for being patrons of Spain on a Fork. You know how much I appreciate you. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button, leave me a comment below, and as always, don't forget to share this video with your family and friends, that way our Spain on a Fork community can continue to grow. Till the next time, hasta luego.